Hey guys, it's Simon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. So today we are going to be making some tack sets for some rainbow horses. I think I'm going to make two tack sets, but we shall see. Maybe I'll do more depending on what items I have. Um, but anyways, I have been doing the neon circuit race a ton. I was extremely unlucky for like a full week. Like it took me a full week until I actually started getting good things from the circuit race. I actually ended up getting a Pertron Frisian and Arabian in the same day, which was crazy. That was, I had one lucky day and that was pretty much it. So let's take a look at our rainbow horses and see which ones we want to make sets for. Okay, so here's my selection. We've got, I was thinking about doing a Pertron, Arabian, or Frisian, which were the best ones that I got. Oh, and I also got a Clydesdale. So, but other than that, I ha was getting, like, nothing from the race, so it decided to give me some luck at the end. Um, I do think a Frisian could be quite pretty, because I could dye the mane and tail and have it be, like, a long rainbow. Although I could also do a Pertron, or an Arabian, because you guys know I love Arabians. I think we'll start with a Frisian. I think we will because I just like how long and pretty their manes are. So I think we're going to start off by dyeing the mane and tail. Probably the Unicorn Academy rainbow because, you know, it's a rainbow horse. Kind of got to do rainbow. Uh, let's go ahead and do the mane. Okay. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. And let's do the tail. Ooh, there we go. Okay. So we got this thing started. Um, let's take a look at the tack and accessories that I got. Let's see what rainbow items I have. Okay, so I have quite a bit of rainbow things from Unicorn Academy. Oh, I definitely have to use this rainbow aura. Oh, and it's the perfect rainbow. It's like almost, I think it is the same rainbow as the stripe going across it. So that's perfect. We of course need to add that. And then what do I want to do next? Should I do like black or should I... Should I mix it up and like just do take my horse Reina's rainbow stripe set? Should I go all out rainbow? Because I could just do black. Although I could do like the saddle black and then I could do the other part rainbow stripes. I think we're going to take this off my horse Reina and I can just give her a new set. I can give her a nicer one I feel because um, it was looking a little chaotic on her. This was Reina. I definitely need to fix her set and give her a new bridle and saddle because this is this is interesting. I might do gold or like a dark red or something different on Reyna here, but that'll be for a different day. Today we're just going to focus on our rainbow horses. Let's go back to our Frisian. Okay, so we got this, 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 and this. How does that look? Looks a little crazy, not going to lie. This does look, it looks interesting. Definitely very colorful. Um, let's see what else I have. I know I have, uh, some mouth rainbows that we could probably put. We're, if we're going crazy, we're gonna go crazy. Okay, yeah, I got a mouth rainbow. That's fun. I think this will just be our big rainbow explosion horse. For the tail, what shall we do? Oh, oh, you guys, I also have this squirrel plush in black and prismatic. That's kind of cool looking, you know? That is definitely pretty cool looking. Oh, although I could save this for our other set that we're going to do. I think I'll save that for our other set. We'll put that one on the next one. I think this one we're going to make fully rainbow. And then the other one, maybe I'll do like a prismatic theme. Now the question is, do I want to do a mini rainbow or a tail rainbow? So the mini rainbow, okay, it goes up like that. Let's see, tail rainbow. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like mixing in with the tail. I think we'll go ahead and do the mini rainbow. There we go. That looks, that looks good. And then I have a face rainbow. Perfect. This is, this is, this is very colorful. Okay, so this is our here set so far. Do I have anything that I want for the shoulder? Okay, so I have figure skates, but I also have this black snowflake shield. Oh, it's a shame you can't really see that that good. Because that would look really cool if you could see it. I have a regular holiday bow. Uh, it's getting a little chaotic. Maybe we'll just leave the shoulder as it is. Do I have horseshoes? I don't have any horseshoes. Okay. Um, let's craft a bridle, of course. Um, this one, I think we'll make a jumping horse since I do have the rainbow jumping boots on it. We'll give it the fancy jumping bridle. For tier, I think we're going to do moonstone. And then I think for my other set, we'll do prismatic. And then we'll make it black. 
uh, just because everything else is rainbow and it's a little it's a little much. So we'll make that black and then we'll also craft something for this saddle. Um, even though I did a jumping bridle, I mean I could do a jumping saddle just to like blend everything. Although I do like the look of the barrel, the reining, and the trick. Because um, I think it could kind of cover up some more of the crazy rainbowness that we got. Here, let's see what this looks like. I might change it. Does that cover up too much rainbow? Let's see what the regular moonstone and we want black. Let's see. Okay, um, not too much of a difference. I mean, the other one just kind of covers more of the rainbowness, but I kind of liked that as well. I also like how this one has like more glowy parts on it. I am struggling. I think we'll go with the other one just because you can see more moonstone pieces. Because um, we're not really going realistic tack with this, obviously, because there's like a rainbow aura going around it. Um, so this is our horse. He's looking pretty cool. Um, what name should we do? We'll, we'll think on the name. We'll think on the name. And then let's just uh, jump into our second tack set that we are going to do uh, for the rainbow horses. Okay, so for the next set, I think I want to do either the Pertron, the Clydesdale, or the Arabian. Or I could do a Thoroughbred because I could name the Thoroughbred Rainbow Dash since they're speedy. I think that could be kind of fun. Oh, this is tough choices, but I definitely do want to do like Prismatic for uh, the next set here because I think that would be another good pattern that could look good on the Rainbow Horses. So I guess we'll just do the perch run. I think we'll do this lovely little perch. And then let's go ahead and let's put that squirrel thing that I was going to do. Here it is. That looks pretty cute. And let's see what other prismatic items that I happen to have in my inventory. And the perch run's mane and tail is already a uh, turquoise, so it kind of fits. Okay, so it looks like I have a unicorn rock. These are all like tail items. Okay, I have apple face pin. Eh, that's, that's alright, it might change, although I do have these shades, no, the shades, they are, look like they're like in the hair, that's, I don't think that's the right spot for the shades, I have this, oh, I have another rainbow aura, I think, I do have another rainbow aura, that's perfect, I have two, so I guess both of our rainbow horses will have this fun rainbow aura, because it's only fitting, you know, um, let's see what other things that I have that we could use, maybe I have like neon green, or like neon turquoise because those colors are kind of similar um, to the prismatic except they don't change. <laughs> um, oh, I have a neon turquoise icicle crown. That's kind of cool looking, not gonna lie. But is it that rainbow? I don't really know. Maybe I'll just do a variety of neon colors. I have neon red Santa hat. No, that's a little, that's a little crazy. This thing is neon red and neon green. Okay, yes, this is going to be our neon rainbow set. So, let's just let's just start from um from the head and we'll see what neon rainbow items I have or just plain neon. So, we have some interesting things. This is an icicle crown in these colors. It's in, I feel like the icicle crowns just don't fit the horses' heads right. I don't know. I don't know what it is about them. They just don't seem to fit right. Although, I could give this one a little fun Christmas tree thing. How cute is this? This looks so silly. This is going to be like a silly neon horse. I like that. Um, I have neon blue polo wraps. I guess we could go with that. Although, I was also saving these for um, a neon blue set. Maybe they'll have like a neon fade. I'll look and see if I can craft that. Because then if they have that, then I can also do that for the saddle. Okay, there's not really anything for the feet. Let's see the shoulder. Oh, okay, perfect. I have some neon stuff. Uh, I have these ski poles in neon green and neon blue. That's perfect. Oh, okay, so we also have a variety for the mouth. I'm saving the royal torch for something, but we could do... What neon color do I not have yet? Because we've done, like, a lot of blues and stuff. I could do another one of this, like, neon purple flower. This party horn's kind of fun. I was actually going to put this party horn on my horse, Goldie. Um, but I ended up putting, like, a lantern on her instead. So, this, this isn't that bad. It's, it's a little silly, but that's what we're going for with this here set, is silly. And then, let's see if we can craft a, uh, neon rainbow fade, uh, saddle pad. 
If so, we'll make this one western. Let's see if they have neon rainbow. Oh, they do. They have neon fade. Okay. So we have to be very sure on this set. Are we doing neon? Yes, we are, because it uses 10 neon flowers. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we got that. Ooh, that's so fun. And then it'll change colors. Look at that. And then let's craft some uh, polo wraps to go along with it. Neon fade. 10 more neon flowers. Okay, there we go. This is so fun looking. Look at how bright and colorful this horse is. If only this was an island unique hair. Unfortunately, you can't get them with island unique hairs though, but that would be crazy if you could. Um, I'm just checking the tail to see if there's any other accessories that I would want instead. But I think that the tail squirrel is a little is pretty cute, more or less. This tail snowflake's fun as well. There's so many fun items that are neon that I could put, but I can't put them all. <laughs> this horse looks ridiculous, but I love it. Um, for bridles, I I actually do think I'm gonna craft the bridle to be a neon color, and then for the um saddle, I think I'll just do black. I'm just gonna do fancy dressage, cause why not? Again, we're not going with realistic, we're just doing with whatever color, whatever color I think might be good. Let's do neon fade. Oh, is that going to be too crazy though if we have neon fade for the bridle? Is that going to be too crazy? We're going to go with it. Let's see. If it doesn't work out, I can always sell it. Okay. Um, I, this is, this is something else. That's all I can say about this set. It is something else. Um, let's do a saddle. We'll just make this one a uh, dressage as well. Why not? I don't really know what colors we're doing here, but that's okay. We'll do black. It's here we want prismatic. There we go. Put that on. Okay. Um. Okay. This is interesting. I feel like the hair needs to be brighter, though, but I don't think I can make the hair brighter. I could give it a fun dye, though. Like a brighter dye. Like, would this plant magic look good? I feel like this could look good with it. Okay, I think we're gonna go with it. Let's let's do it. Okay, we've done it. Let's see. Oh, that's even darker. <laughs> this looks even darker than what it was. Um, we're just gonna continue with it though. It's okay. It'll look better in the day, maybe. It's fine. It's it's all right. We'll just we'll go with this. This looks so crazy. Do we need to move into the lighter space? Okay, see, this This is, um, this isn't meant to look, like, amazing. It's meant to be crazy. Maybe I will change the tail. I have this fun, like, tail clamshell, because I feel like there's not really much neon purple on this, but I also feel like it goes into the tail. Eh, we'll just go with this for now. It's okay. This is our crazy looking horse. And then I need to think of names for both this one and our other one. So we got this one and we have the other one. Okay, I, re I actually do really like this one. Oh, we need to name one of them Fruit Loops. But which one do we name Fruit Loops? I wish I could have both of them out at the same time and compare them. Okay, I feel like this one's a little bright to be Fruit Loops. Because while Fruit Loops are colorful, I feel like they're not like neon. So this guy will be Fruit Loops. Cute. So this here is Fruit Loops. He is adorable. And then our Percheron. We need to think of something. Okay, so how about Glow Stick? Because it's kind of like a big neon looking crazy glow stick type thing. I think that's perfect. So this is Glow Stick and then we got Glow Stick and Fruit Loops. I think that that is just adorable i love it so much so those are the two set tack sets that i made in this here video for my two uh, black rainbow horses but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you all enjoyed it i definitely enjoyed making these tack sets they are very fun um so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video subscribe for more wild horse island content and i hope that you all have a wonderful day goodbye everybody